Welcome to Asakusa, the center of tradition and culture in Tokyo. Let's go explore. See ya. Located in the east of Tokyo, Asakusa is both a famous sightseeing spot and a popular place to stay. Due to its direct access from Narita and Haneda Airport and relatively cheap accommodation. If you want to soak in traditional Japanese vibes, gorge yourself on delicious street food, or pick up unique souvenirs, Asakusa has that covered and more. So let's dive in. Asakusa is next to Sumida River and can be most conveniently accessed by the Asakusa and Ginza lines. A five minute train ride across the river finds you in Tokyo Skytree. While in the opposite direction, you have Kappabashi, Tokyo's kitchen town. But first, we're starting off in the heart of Asakusa. We're at Sensoji Temple, which is the oldest temple in Tokyo. At this gate, you'll see two different statues, which are Raijin and Fujin, which are the god of thunder and the god of wind. Legend has it that two brothers were fishing on Sumida River one day, and they fished out a cannon statue. They threw the cannon statue back in the river, but it just kept coming, it just kept coming up. So they thought there's something here, and that's when Sensoji Temple was born. To fully take in the temple experience, you can make an offering and pray inside, buy incense, or cover yourself with it to experience its healing qualities or get your fortune. So, first you put your 100 yen in the slot. Then you pick up the tin and give it a shake and get your number. This will be written in Japanese, so match the characters to the draw. Then pull the draw and take out your fortune. And we have our fortunes right here, don't we, Cassie? I'm scared. <laughs> I am a bit nervous. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey! Oh no. Oh, half. half. Interesting. Average. I got good fortune. And what did you get? A half fortune. <laughs> so a little bit of good, a little bit of bad. So there are like lots of different types that you can get. You can get like medium bad and really bad and really good. So at least we got like somewhere. I mean, you know, yeah, at least got, it's not bad. It is a good sign to dream of a young horse in spring and a dream of a swift horse will be a much better sign. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> you read into that what you will. So if you get a bad fortune, you don't like what you've got, then you can fold it up and you tie it to the rack over there. You basically like fold it into a thin piece of paper and then tie up. And then you leave behind the evil spirits and the bad luck. Leading up to Sensoji Temple is Nakamise Dori, a street lined with souvenir shops and street food. You can try so many different sweets here, but we decided to go with just three. We have our pretty dango here, which is basically just rice balls on a stick. We also have our agamanju and a melon pan with matcha ice cream inside. And an agamanju is something that is deep fried. A manju is basically like a steamed bun with sweet red bean paste inside. A tip for a saksa is if you're looking for food and places to shop, head off the main street and wander down the smaller side alleys as well. It will also be quieter the earlier you come in the day. If you don't mind going for a quick 10 minute walk, you can get to Kappabashi, a street dubbed Tokyo's kitchen town. Here you can find anything and everything related to the kitchen, from knives to plastic food to crockery. Whether you're into cooking or just looking for a unique souvenir, it's a good spot to check out. After visiting the temple and eating all that street food, up next we decided to relax and get a tour of the area on a rickshaw. It's not the cheapest mode of transport, but it's a fun way to see the sights and learn more from the driver who doubles as a guide. You can just walk up to the rickshaw stand on the day and take a tour, but we recommend booking in advance to ensure you get an English-speaking driver. Another unique experience to try in Asakusa is renting a kimono. You can pay for just a couple of hours or rent one for the whole day. And for the ultimate traditional experience, pair it with a rickshaw ride. For more info on the different rickshaw and kimono rental companies in Asakusa, check out our articles linked in the video description. If a rickshaw isn't your thing and you'd prefer to see Asakusa from up high, then check out the free observation deck at the Asakusa Culture Tourist Information Center. This building is just across the street from Nakamise Dori 
and allows you to see great views of the temple and surrounding area. Right next to the Sensoji Temple area is Sumida River. You remember we were talking about the cannon statue that got taken out of the river? That's right here. And what else do you see behind us? Well, I see Tokyo Sky Tree, which is about 30, 20, 30 minute walk from here. And I see, um, I don't know, what does that look like to you? That golden thing on its side. I'm not gonna lie, it does look a little bit like a golden poop, but it's actually the Asahi Golden Flame. Alongside being able to see these beautiful buildings, you can also have a walk along the river. There's a nice park that is beautiful and pink in spring with the cherry blossoms and also nice and red in autumn. And also we're right next to the boat terminal where you can jump on a cruise and go to Odaiba. For more seasonal events beyond cherry blossoms, you can check out the many festivals held in Asakusa. The biggest is Sanja Matsuri, held sometime in mid to late May. This is one of Tokyo's most popular festivals. It's lively and rowdy, with the main attraction being the hundreds of portable shrines paraded through the streets. If you spent the entire day in Asakusa, then why not spend the evening at Hoppy Street, where you can hop from bar to bar trying out their drinks and maybe some stew. Mmm, sounds good. Now the area isn't as happening, hopping as Shinjuku or Shibuya, but it's beautiful at night, walk through Sensoji, less people, find a quirky bar or two, you'll have some fun. So let's go soak in some of those vibes. Definitely. If you're interested in any of our other area guides, check them out here and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.